Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about the new kid on the block. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so let me tell you guys right up front that I was sent this battery free of charge for evaluation, but I don't get to keep the battery. I've actually got to return it to Gigaparts following this video, so I'm really getting nothing out of the video other than a few days to play with this battery. And one of the reasons I really wanted to kind of get this battery in my hands and be able to test it is because of this meter that's built into the battery. Because, let me tell you, I had my doubts about this meter. Um, and it's okay, but it's not perfect. We'll get to that in a few minutes. But the battery comes in at three pounds and five ounces in weight. The dimensions on it are roughly four inches in width, four inches in height, and six inches in length. Now I've got to say from the limited amount of time that I've had to play with this and test this battery, I'm pretty impressed. They offer this in several different flavors. I happen to get the 12 amp hour version for testing. That battery retails as of the time of this recording for right at a hundred bucks, which is not bad when you compare it to something like the BioInno battery. Uh, when you're looking at the same amp hour rating on one of those, you're talking about $130. So you can save a few pennies by going with one of these batteries. We'll go ahead and jump over to the computer so I can share with you some of the data that I've collected over the last three days of testing. Okay, so for this test, what I did was I hooked up the battery to a Raspberry Pi and my Yaesu 891. I fired up JSA Call and turned on uh, automation in that so that it would send a heartbeat every 30 minutes and it would answer any heartbeats that it heard. The radio was sitting on 20 watts during the test. So when it was sitting there just on receive, it was pulling 1.35 amps. And on transmit, it was pulling somewhere between 9 and 9.5 and amps. So that was a test criteria that I used for uh, the battery duration test. Now, as you can see uh, right here at the end of the day on the first day of testing, I was able to pull 11.5 amp hours. Taking a look at day two, you'll see that I got 11.66 amp hours out of this. And guys, I was using one of the what's up meters connected uh, in between the battery and the radio setup so that I had some sort of meter to give me a fairly accurate measurement during this testing. On day three, you can see again, I drew 11.55 amp hours. Now day two and day three I didn't run it quite too dead. I went ahead and cut it off just before that just so I didn't kill my Raspberry Pi. So in my opinion uh, drawing 11.5 amp hours out of the battery roughly each day that's pretty good. That's uh, test results that I can live with. Now let's talk about that meter that's on top of the battery. First of all, it gives you two different readings. It'll give you the voltage of the battery, and then it gives you a percentage used of the battery. The voltage is accurate. I didn't see any discrepancies in that. The gauge that gives you the percentage amount left, well, yeah, that's not so accurate. However, it is consistent. And if you kind of figure this out, take some time with it and do your own testing, you'll see what I mean. But let's take a look at this. And I'm going to use this 66% indicator right here. So when I had used 6.6 .6 amp hours of the battery, so that's just over half of the capacity of the battery, the gauge was showing me 66%. Now, let's go down and look at day two results. Here again, the gauge was showing 66%. 
and I had used a little over half of the capacity. So 6.81 amp hours on this particular day. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third day of testing. And again, that when the gauge was showing 66%, I was showing 6. Point, or showing I had used 6.5 amp hours out of the battery. So, uh, like I said, it's not accurate because you've actually got a little less than 50% left when the gauge was showing 66%. But you can do some correlation there since the gauge does remain consistent with that percentage. Uh, left in the battery. So it's not accurate, but it could be useful once you learn how to uh, do the real calculation in there as far as what the gauge is showing and how much actual battery capacity you have left. The other thing you will note when uh, the radio goes into transmit, that meter is going to drop way down. Uh, so it might be sitting at 66%. It goes into transmit and that may drop to 30%. Once uh, transmitting is complete, it will slowly rise back up to give you a more, um, well, closer to accurate indication of how much uh, battery you have remaining. So there's a look at the new battery offered by Gigaparts. And I gotta say, I'm fairly pleased with it with the limited amount of time that I've had to test it. Uh, and I may end up picking up one in the future. It probably won't be this version. I've already got several other batteries that kind of are right in that same range. But I may look at one of their larger batteries going forward. Guys, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you on the next one. Until then, 7-3. You're still here. Ha! Huh. Well, I like it when guys stick around to the very end of the video, so here's a little bonus footage for you. I'm currently working on a Raspberry Pi Zero project. Not the Zero 2, but I'm actually working with the original Zero board. And what I'm doing is trying to pack as much stuff onto it as possible, but it's unique uh, because this is actually going to work as a server. So right now, let's think about what all I've got on there. I've got the emergency email server loaded onto it. I've got a WordPress blog loaded onto that. I've got the forum or, or a PHP BB forum loaded onto that. And I've got an internal mail server loaded onto it. So, exciting things will be coming up in the future. I want to take this thing, have some time to play with it. It was a beast to get configured. But I'm going to try to simplify all of that before I do a video on it. All right, y'all carry on now. See you guys later. 7-3.